Hello guys and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to modify table data in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, whenever I create a table, there is a need to modify this table. We can easily modify a table under the design view. Now, where we can find this design view, if you go on the extreme left corner of your screen, you can find a view button. Under this view button, you can see two views. The first one is the data sheet view and second one is the design view. Under the design view, you can do the necessary modification in Microsoft Access 2016. The next thing I would like to share is that you can create a relationship between two windows using the relationship window. Now sometimes we need to relate two windows for our data accessibility. So this relationship can be created under the database tool tab under Microsoft Access 2016. Now sometimes what happens we have to create an SQL queries because in design view we cannot create a relationship or we can cannot create the required modification at that time we will use a data definition query under the sql view to do the necessary modification now while creating a table we when we need to design it or whenever we need to modify it we can arrange and rearrange field under the design view we can also add a new field to a existing field under this design view and the third thing which we can do, we can add a field or we can delete a field under the design view. Now while making the modification, we have to make sure of these three rules. Now what are these three rules? That is data types, field character limit and validation rule. Now we will get a better understanding of all these three rules in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to learn how to modify a table in Microsoft Access 2016. Now in order to do that, I need to pull out a table. As you can see, I have the customer table ready with me. Now how did I get this? Under the navigation pane, you can see there are so many uh, tables out here under the tables group. Uh, let's go ahead and pull out this customer table. So I simply double click on it and here we go. We have the table ready with us. Now before we start off, uh, let me tell you that a table can be modified with the help of three rules. Now what are these three main rules? The first rule is that I can determine what is the data type that is to be entered in a particular field. Let's say that uh, out here it should be only text uh, in this uh, particular zip code. It should be a number. Alright, so this is how you can define with the help of data type. We can also set a character limit and third one is defining a validation rule. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I will move on the extreme right side of my screen and I will click on this click to add drop down menu. The moment you click on this drop down menu, it is showing me all the ready options with us. The first one it says short text. So short text is used in that scenario where I would like to enter a text. It can be a number, but a number should be, let's say it can be used for phone number or a zip code where there are no involvement of calculation at that time I'll use short text. Now whenever I would like to calculate two fields like I want to perform an operation let's say sum, multiply, divide or subtract I will use this particular field that says number. So there's a difference between short text and number. A short text can be any text including number as well but whenever there are calculation involved I will definitely choose this data field. All right, or the this data type. Now we also have large numbers where you have many numbers involved. If if there is some cost involved, if I'm going to mention a price of a product at that time, I'll use price. Similarly, we have date and time. If you want to display the date or the time in a particular field, a yes, no is usually used for a checkbox whether you want it yes or no so if I simply select yes you can see I have a checkbox I say that I want to uh, send out emails so whether they want to receive the emails or not so I'll simply create a group for emails and if I click on the stick marks it means that they will they are ready to accept the mails or not all right so this is how you can define it now already we have seen the checkbox the yes and no checkbox let's go ahead and see the rest of them i have rich text i have long text we can also include a hyperlink as well all right so these are the different type of data types that we have in microsoft access 2016 now let's go ahead and try to modify this particular field now i have given it a checkbox now if i want to 
change this I have to go under the field tab and under the field tab I will select this particular field and I can go to this uh, formatting tab and under here you can see the data types now let's say that I just want a short text instead of a yes no if I click on short text now you can see that there are some yes there is there are some no so wherever I selected tick as yes you want the mail it has converted it to yes automatically now this is the one way of doing this other way from if you want to change the data type and change the properties I have to go under the design tab and from the design tab I can uh, change the data types as well all right guys so this is about data types you can also set a character limit so let me go back to the data sheet view so I'm going clicking on the view tab I select data sheet view now I can also set a limit to a particular field the character limit that only five characters can be entered like as you can see out here in the zip code there are only five characters so you can set character limit out here so how I do that it's quite simple I will go to the field tab out here it says 255 so at the max you can have 255 characters in a particular field but I do not want those I just want five right so I'll simply type five all right and let's go ahead and see whether this particular yes all right so let's go ahead and yes now this particular uh, field size has been applied now if i go ahead and for this particular entry codey if i try to enter a pen code which is more than five characters let's see whether it's accept or not it's not allowing me to type as well all right so because we have set the character limit to five if you change it to six let's say right so i'll type six and let's see whether it has applied this particular event or not now I'm able to only type six characters so this is how you can define the field size of this particular field right by defining the character limit all right and next thing is the validation rule now we will be learning about more about the validation rule in our next videos so keep watching this videos to understand more about the validation rules as well okay guys so this is how you can modify a table in Microsoft Access 2016